Okay guys, I'm going to show you in the upcoming video on how I made this really cool vase. And with the Cricut brush, uh, True Brush Paper. I love that stuff. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I make a um, flower vase using actually mainly Dollar Tree items, which only cost a dollar for each item. I'm also going to go over how we use an iPad. I don't see a lot of videos um, on uh, YouTube showing people how they use their iPad for their maker, Cricut Maker or Cricut Explorer Air. I think you can use it for that. Because um, the maker has that nice slot on the top. So what I do primarily, most of the time, is if it's an intricate project or need a lot of edits, I will do it on my Mac. So I have access to a mouse so I can be more precise. But then I'll save the project and I'll still bring it up on my iPad because the iPad seems to be more stable when, it, when it's communicating with the maker. It's a little faster too with the Bluetooth than from my Mac. I don't know why, maybe because they're kind of far apart. That could be it, but I prefer to do it this way. But on this project I actually made here on um, my whole uh, iPad. I was going to show you that. So I got some leaves here, which it actually was the Cricut Sapphire Leaf Garden that I used, which they had several other I'll show you. I better save this first. Let's do my save to the cloud. Hope this isn't too much glare. I hope you're getting this. Okay. So it's saved. Now let's go back to home. And here it is. So this is the project. I hit customize. See all these, but I didn't want all the little flowers because the vase I'm about to show you, these wouldn't fit right. So I only wanted to keep the big ones. So all you do is just delete the ones you don't want. I think I'd be I deleted these two. So I've got about five to each there. And then I also inserted, use your finger here to pinch down. Let's insert, oh, not text, shapes, square, and unlock it so you can manipulate it. And then I did edits. I know I want it to be 10 inches long. And then this, I want it to be pretty thin. So let's do 0 0.07. And it's a little too thin. Let's do 0 0.08. There we go. That's about right. We can always make it a little bigger too by dragging it here. That's about right what I like. And then I just duplicated actions. Sometimes it's better to use a finger. Duplicate, I did like eight of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go to make it. There they are. So, and I'll show you the reason why I did all that too. But I just want to kind of show you the project because it's actually fun to use the iPad. Um, like I said, if it's a more intricate, you know, project, I will do it on my Mac, but then I'll save it and then I'll bring it up on the iPad and use the iPad to, on the maker to cut everything. Because also too, you have the snap mat, which is really nice if you you know have a certain like amount of product, you know, like material you're cutting, you can put it on there and then this will automatically line it up, which is a really cool feature. If you guys haven't tried the snap mat, you really should do it. So that's the biggest reason why I like using my iPad when it comes to cutting the stuff out. All right, so now I'm gonna show you kind of what I've got here and what we're doing. Okay, guys. So this is kind of like my idea I'm doing. Um, this is washi tape, and this is the cardstock we cut. And these are the little pieces I cut here. And I don't know if you guys have had a chance yet to try it, but if you haven't, um, the brush, uh, True Brush Paper is amazing. It's actually one of my most favorite paper that Cricut has come out with besides the pearl paper. I love their pearl paper too. So, um, so I cut those out. This is kind of like what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do both some in the copper washi tape, which is this, this, this. 
and we're gonna do wrap some more of these. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna do some up here. Let's see. Here's the vase I got. Now the vase I got actually um, for six dollars. It was a sixty percent doorbuster at um, Joann's, but all the inside stuff. I hope you guys can see that. I don't want to tilt it too much. Um, was all from the Dollar Tree, and you know all that stuff's just a dollar. They have really cool um, like. Um, what do you want to call it? Embellishments or craft, a little bit of crafting stuff there. Uh, so cheap. So that's why I put inside the vase. So I'm going to probably speed this up. I'm going to do one here uh, to show you guys. What I'm using here is the uh, Wilton's um, treat uh, sticks. You get it at your Walmart or anywhere. They're a little bigger than what I really want them to be, but they'll work for this project though. So we're going to get one out here. And this is what they call scoring tape. It's just really double-sided tape. But I like to use this. Just cut a little piece off. And cut this in half again. And I can put one piece at the top. Put it long ways. And peel it off. If you need to, you can always use your... This is one of the most versatile tools Cricut has ever made in my eyes. I use it all the time for stuff. So there's one piece up there. One down here. And then you just take one of these. We'll start it up here. And you just mainly roll it on. Don't have to be perfect or, t you know, a certain tightness or whatever. I just like to roll it and do it between your fingers like this. It keeps it really from kind of like creasing. At least what I have found. Alert from disk not ejected properly. Alert from. Okay. So sorry about that. I had a little bit of alert in the background. So we do this. I just use this for a temporary hole because the double-sided tape doesn't hold the greatest permanently. So I use my Arts Glitter Glue. And we just put a touch back here. And a touch back here. This stuff dries ultra clear, so it's, that's what I like about it. And we just hold it there for just a second. This stuff dries very quickly and clear. That's what I like about it. But it's just adding a little bit of a, you know, design here, you know, touch to our sticks. So when they're in the vase, since the vase is glass, you're going to at least see something. <laughs> so there we go. I'll show you real fast how I do the washi tape one. And then the rest of them will speed up so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all these. And the video won't be so long. So I just get a piece of it. Start there. And then cut it off like that. And then it's pretty simple. I just roll it. Just do a little bit and then run your finger over it. It doesn't have to be perfect by no means. You know, it's okay to have some creases in it. And that's how you do that. And trim off the end here. And I think that will go good with the green, you know, having some copper in there. So I'll make a few more of these and then I will uh, show you what we're going to do next. Okay guys, so now we've got them all done. I actually kind of prefer doing the washi tape because it's much easier, but I like the spiral effect too. Like I said, this brush paper is just my favorite stuff to use. So now all we gotta do is attach these leaves. So we kind of measure, or really eyeball. So these go in, we're gonna go in a little bit, so maybe just the first inch and a half to two inches. 
is what's going to be sticking up. So I like to start with the bigger ones first. We probably won't use all of these, but we're going to make up something here. So we'll do the silver onto the twirl ones here. So what I like to mainly do is just use more of this. This will help like, you know, start it and then I'll still put glue on it. So it'll hold up for the long term. So let's see. Let's roll it around. Attach it down like so, and then we can put some glue behind it. There's one, and we'll do one of the blue ones onto the copper color one. So same thing, take a piece of this. Remember just about an inch and a half, two inches to the top. Okay guys, so I have one extra in here left, which I figure I just want to have some extra pieces, which is fine. So I kind of just wanted now to assemble and let's see how it looks. So let's do this. All right, how do you guys think? It was quite simple. Um, you can always add more colors. It could use some more colors, maybe. But I really like how the copper turned out in here. And I just love that brush paper. It's very cool. And it's a very simple project. And you can easily make this for Mother's Day. You could um, use this for um, just to get well. I still got one little extra piece down inside of there to kind of hide the front. So I just love the brush paper. It's so cool. But I think the collars look good though. Like I said, I could maybe use a little more collars. You know, this is my first time experimenting with stuff like this. But I'm overall pretty happy. So leave in the comments here, you guys, what you guys think. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys for being here. And check out the, my description. I have a lot of fun links in there and people I like to try to help support. Until next video, you guys, have a good day. Bye.